Hey guys, welcome to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and welcome to the launch of the 2020 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. Now this is a very interesting vehicle because Volkswagen has had the seven-seater Atlas for a number of years now, but there's never been a five-seater version to compete with vehicles like the Jeep Grand Cherokee and the Ford Edge until now, and this is exactly what this vehicle is. So here's what you need to know. It's based, it's based on an Atlas platform. It's a little bit smaller dimensionally, but largely unchanged. It's got the same basic engines as the Volkswagen Atlas, so a two liter turbo with about 235 horsepower, and then a 3.6 liter V6 with just under 280 horsepower. But unlike the Atlas, if I come around the back here, you'll notice that this is now a five seater. So they got rid of the third row and that's because Volkswagen did a whole bunch of research and they figured out that this market was 45% of the SUV market. So vehicles like the Grand Cherokee, like the Ford Edge, maybe even something like a Passport, is quite similar dimensionally and quite similar in its philosophy. Now, the big deal with the Atlas Crossport is it's got this new sloping rear end. Ian, do you mind if I close it up? And I will show you what I'm talking about. So where the Atlas kind of just goes whoop, the Crossport has this nice sloping tailgate. I'll show you a quick look at the inside while we have it here. So on the inside, a couple of changes compared to its big brother. First of all, a brand new steering wheel. I love this perforation in the steering wheel. This one has the full digital gauges, slightly different interior design overall. I love these two-tone contrast seats. Of course, this Volkswagen Atlas Crossport is all about the technology and there's a lot of it in here. Features such as wireless charging, heated and cooled seats. Like I mentioned, you've got the big infotainment cluster in the center there with all your gauges. But there is new technology as well, such as traffic assist. So with this vehicle at speeds under 37 miles an hour will stop and go with traffic at its own pace. So you don't have to stop accelerate, stop, accelerate, and stop and go traffic. It will do that all for you at speeds under 37 miles an hour. It is an option on this vehicle. It is not standard, but it is a really cool piece of tech. It'll also uh, keep you centered in the lane. Now, some safety tech that is included with the base model is such, is stuff like automatic emergency braking, line spot detection, forward collision alert, um, rear traffic alert, other options, you've got stuff like um, adaptive cruise control is an option, as is rear parking sensors. Now, coming in the front, I much prefer this design to the Volkswagen Atlas, a much more aggressive front end. And this vehicle actually debuts their new R logo. So let me give you a quick shot of what that looks like. This is what the new R line logo looks like on the Atlas Crossport really large wheel and tire combo. This is a 21 inch wheel riding on P265 45 R21 Pirelli Scorpions. And it really gives it that concept like, look now, this car debuted at the 2018 New York International Auto Show several months ago. And since then we haven't heard much, but I must say that the actual production version looks quite similar to the one that was shown um, a little while back. Now, other things you need to know, well, the two liter turbo is now available with four motion all wheel drive. So whether or not you get the 3.6 liter V6 or the two liter turbo, both can be had with all wheel drive. Other cool things, well, take a look at that. That right there is a tow hitch. And that's because if you get the V6 with the V6 towing package, Volkswagen says that the Atlas Cross Sport can tow a maximum of 5,000 pounds. This particular model is the SEL with the V6 you're looking at. Not a big fan of the fake exhaust, if I'm being honest. They are completely and totally artificial. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of the design of this new Atlas? I do like this horizontal chrome bar that runs the entire width of the vehicle. Very stylish and very trendy. Rear wiper here. Let me quickly pop the trunk, show you one more time what that looks like, a generous amount of cargo space. There's Moto Man, sorry Moto Man. Uh, that was my fault, he was taking a picture. I had, a per I had the light set up perfectly. Oh. Tommy, Tommy would be ruined it, even though he's got good taste in old Mercedes. <laughs> I totally ruined it. Okay, I'll let you get your shot. But a large 
trunk space as well. So it's interesting that Volkswagen has gone the way of the Passport because just like Honda, um, Volkswagen had the seven-seater, Honda has the Pilot, and then Honda, a couple years back, decided let's do a five-seater version, call it the Passport, and they kind of just lop the back off of a Pilot. Now, I think Volkswagen has done this a little bit more elegantly than Honda, actually, with the Atlas to the Atlas Crossport because they've really changed not only the design of the rear, but also the design of the front as well. It's a lot of piano black trim down there in the front with some chrome accenting. Now we don't know several things. Uh, Volkswagen hasn't announced MPG, Volkswagen hasn't announced uh, final pricing, but they do say uh, that this vehicle is going to start in the 30s. So somewhere in the $30,000 range. Do one more quick walk around, show you as much as I can while I have it here in front of us. Of course, Volkswagen also has the Tiguan and the Atlas. So now this is their third SUV in the portfolio. Previously, Volkswagen has also done the Touareg. Now, of course, this is not very similar to the Touareg, if we're being completely honest. It's an entirely new and entirely different philosophy because the Touareg was a very, very expensive premium SUV to compete with the likes of Range Rover and Mercedes. The Atlas is more aimed at things like the Grand Cherokee, so still can be had in premium spec, but not nearly the same level that that vehicle was in. Of course, in the Atlas, the two engines are, are pretty different in character. So the standard V6 and the two liter turbo behave quite differently. I like this kind of new texture they have across the dashboard. That's pretty cool. Once again, you have the extremely large center console that you'd find in the Atlas. Push button start. Looks like we have different drive modes here, ranging from snow to on-road to maybe even an off-road setting. This one has the um, parking assist as well. Interior, I gotta say the overall interior design is pretty similar to the Atlas, except for the steering wheel, which is much sportier. There you go. There is that little R logo down across the front. A nice storage bin there. Quickly check out the rear seat as well. Once again, a super flat floor, even in this four motion all wheel drive model. I love that. And an extremely adequate amount of leg room. It's kind of dark, I apologize, but I have several inches between myself and the seat in front of me. Heated rear seats back here looks like three position heated rear seats, two USBs with a 115 volt outlet some storage behind the seats here as well and that large panoramic sunroof up top one thing I am noticing right away are the pedals which are extremely sporty as well give you a closer look at the pedals there three position memory seats coming down the side of course, this SEL is going to be preloaded, so it's got power adjustment there. Now, another thing debuting on this Atlas Crossport is Volkswagen's new app, which allows you to control a lot of the vehicle's function. It is a subscription-based model, but they do include five years free when you purchase the vehicle new, and it allows you to do stuff as remote start. It allows you to remotely control a lot of the interior functions. And now there's even a new functionality coming that will integrate with your smart home and you can do stuff such as check the gas level all from your, um, something like an Alexa at home. But IQ light technology there. Overall, I think it's a much more handsome vehicle than the standard Atlas. Much more modern and bold in its overall design, which I really appreciate. A little bit too much, perhaps, piano black across the front, and I'm not seeing 
I'm not seeing any fog lights, which is kind of an interesting choice. Maybe they're incorporated up top here, but down low, it's just a lot of venting. Uh, pretty low front end, so this is not gonna be targeted as an off-roader, but you can see here the front camera, which kind of juts out of the grill. And of course, your parking sensors. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below of the 2020 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. This is the global reveal. We'll have more information soon coming to tflcar.com. That'll be debuting tomorrow. Thanks for watching.